Bye, and welcome back to Kim Kel with us. I'm Katie. I'm Brittany. And this is my mother-in-law, Dee. Today, she's going to teach us how to make a bunamba. If it's small, go get swimming, it. Swimming, swimming. So a lot of you guys who actually follow us weekly um, have requested that we make this. And unfortunately, this is something we still haven't learned to make on our own. So we're super excited to be learning how to finally make it and having you guys learn with us. Um, this is really a traditional Lao red curry based soup with vermicelli noodles. So uh, yeah, we love it. We know you'll love it and let's learn away. Today we're gonna be making a version with fish, but you can also make this with beef or chicken. Um, in the soup base, we're gonna be using uh, coconut milk, fish sauce, berek, which is traditionally used in a lot of Lao dishes. Um, so we will be using that today. Sugar, red curry paste, salt, shallots, garlic, lime leaves, galangal, um, and lemongrass. And lemongrass, yeah. I'm sorry, that escaped my And mind. a tilapia fish. And a tilapia fish, exactly. So, let's get started. Okay, so we've already put a pot of water to boil on the stove. Uh, Mom, what do we do next? You cut the lemongrass, um, okay. lime leaf, and sea lanka. Okay. Put in the pot. Okay, okay. And perfect. Boil. So we're gonna start prepping all the add-ins for when our soup is finished, which is like all the vegetables that we have. We have banana blossom here, um, bean sprouts, and long beans. We're also gonna put in some carrots and cilantro, so. We're also gonna chop a cabbage up. Um, as a fix-in for our soup. She's got this um, handy tool that you cannot buy anywhere here. It's from Laos. Made in Laos. But see how thin this comes? It's a great tool. It's also great when you buy the banana blossom that's not already um, sliced up. We all buy it already pre-sliced, but mm -hmm. if you buy the banana blossom pre uh, not sliced, you need this tool mm -hmm. to make it thin. All right, so our lime leaves, lemongrass, and galanga are all boiling in our pot of water. Um, we were prepping our veggies that we're gonna add into our soup when it's done. We have coriander, so we're actually gonna add the coriander root just for extra flavor. And it really smells already amazing. So everything's boiling. I'm about to add the fish. Um, just want to say that the whole house smells amazing. It smells like the lime leaves and the lemongrass, both which are super strong and potent. Uh, and it just smells super fresh right now in this kitchen. <laughs> We're adding the fish. The whole fish, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can. So we did have this cleaned um, at the market when we picked it up yesterday. Do you want to cut it in half, Mom? Yeah. Yeah? If it's too big, you can cut it okay. in half. The learning process.
Okay, so while our fish is cooking in the pot that we just did, what's next? After you wait for the fish cook, right? You have to open this and this. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually going to be cutting up some garlic and shallots, um, and we're going to be doing this in another pot with our curry paste. Am I dicing it? Like dicing it? No, we can blend it and we put on the blender. Oh, easier. So I thought we were chopping it up. That's me jumping to conclusions. We're actually just peeling it and then we're gonna stick it in a blender to make it easier. Learning from the pros. <laughs> Come on in here, guys. Supervisor. <laughs> Brittany's always the one crying with the shallots. If you've seen our other videos. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're gonna use so seven, seven shallot. shallots with the Maybe size. 10, 10, 10. Uh, oh, ten. Okay, ten shallots with the pot size that we have right now, um, which is a medium-sized pot. In one fish. Then we cut the The shallots are very strong. Shallots, are. I can feel them all the way over here, and I'm not just peeling them. them. Like, if you need to have a good cry, open up some shallots. I don't cry a lot. This is the only time you'll see me cry. She got no emotions over here. <laughs> I'm a crier. I cry on every movie that I watch. Yeah. Every wedding I go to. No, me too. Well, then you can't say you don't cry. I don't cry like with real things. <laughs> real problems. And, and it is Canada Day, long weekend. Mm. So, we decided to cook today. Today's Friday. No, and let me cook on Sundays. But Sunday is Canada Day. It's um, July 1st. And we will be doing uh, beach stuff and fireworks with the family. Good. Where the garlic is open to Oh, you want to? Two heads of garlic. Mm -hmm. Mm Girl's eyes are watering from this, guys. <laughs> All right, so the fish is cooked now, and we're just gonna take it out and put it into a bowl. Okay, so we're going to make um, the base of the red curry paste to add to the soup. Oil. The pan first. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. oil first. Yeah. Wait until the oil hot. Then okay. We bring the shallot. So this is the shallots and the garlic that we um, put into the blender already. And you're going to add it into your oil. Okay, so that looks golden brown. Um, that's the color you want it to be before you add your red curry paste to it. So it does take some time. This was probably a good 15 minutes. So 
So this is completely optional. Um, she just mentioned that if some people like even a little more spicy, you can add a little bit of paprika. And you'll notice that we aren't um, giving you exact measurements. Um, I mean, this is how a Lao kitchen operates. You know, when you ask them how to make something, they just say a little bit, a little bit more, a lot, and you just gotta interpret whatever that means. So we'll do our best um, in our description box to tell you what to add to make one whole lot. You kind of have to eyeball everything. Eyeballs. <laughs> Yeah, we can go uh, after this one, we can go hit the phone. Okay, do we turn this off? Yeah, we can just turn off the Okay, um, so this is actually all ready. Uh, we're going to turn the stove off, leave it here, and we're going to actually go debone our fish. Okay, so we're basically at the most tedious, I would say, part of the entire recipe, and that's getting the bones and the meat off the fish. Um, if you want to skip this step, you can actually buy um, tilapia is already deboned. That could make this easier. Um, this is how, but this was a fresh live fish yesterday yeah. when we got it, and that also makes a difference in your broth. It just smells better when it's a fresh fish, um, and it tastes better. But if you want the easy route, go buy frozen boneless fish. All right. Let's dig in. So I'll take one and Katie will take one and we will get all the meat. You're literally taking everything um, except, the bones. except the bones. Like all this good fat, you're putting it in there because that's going to give your broth a lots of flavor. All right, we're just about done here. Um, you want to take your time and be really careful just because I don't know if you've ever choked on a fish bone, but it's pretty scary, pretty dangerous. So you don't want to get. Speaking from someone who's choked on rice before. Yeah, like a grain of rice. <laughs> scary shit. <laughs> it's because I talk, 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 talk. Don't talk when you eat. Just chew. <laughs> Apparently, we wasted some meat. So mm -hmm. she's checking to make sure we got yeah. all of it. <laughs> Can't waste anything. <laughs> all right, so you're going to have to get your pestle now and use it to pretty much mash up the fish into tiny pieces, to really, really small pieces. So there it is, and we want them very small. All right, this is done. Um, we're gonna go add it into our pan that we had the curry paste in. Um, we only left, we took it all out, but we left a little bit. So we're gonna um, add the fish to that. About one spoon. One, one big spoon. Like a what rice whatever, whatever scooper spoon. spoon. Yeah. So like two tablespoons. And now we're gonna add the badek. Um, okay. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's really okay. fermented one, fish. One We added the sugar, the 
And I eat, you want pen more, you cook pen more. If you don't want, you want or not? No. no. If somebody eat pen more, you cook pen more. So for those of you who like to use MSG, now's the time to add it. And so are we just adding this into our broth yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. Then they will to fly and get this smell in food, you know? Big fry a little bit. Yeah. All right, so you want to kind of dry it a bit and get that smell. <laughs> There's a bomb, Katie missed one. <laughs> Why is it silly me? <laughs> oh, I see, I see another one. See? <laughs> you have to wash out, baby. What? Why is it gotta be me, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, you guys. So, if you do miss bones, uh, apparently now out, is a good huh? time to find them. Take it out. Okay, so now I'm really smelling how she said you're yeah. gonna like wait for it to really smell strong. There's a very uh, heavy fish smell. It smells delicious. Um, but it's getting really fragrant in here. Okay. Okay, so we have because we have some more. We have a one um, liter here. We're gonna do half of it for our media pot. We would just substitute with fish sauce. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's too short. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. No, it's not too salty. Okay. Yeah. So, no, okay. it's not too salty. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, is it enough or coconut? If not enough, you can put more a little bit. I think it's fine. Fine. Right? Yeah. Do you want more? Yeah, so taste it and then um, you can make small adjustments like the coconut milk or the fish sauce if you want it a little more salty. Okay, so our um, blood is uh, boiled. We're going to take it off the stove, drain it. that we learned today and I'm super excited to now know how to make this myself. Um, it was easier than I thought it was um, going to be so I'm really excited to make this at home by myself um, and I hope you guys do too and I want to thank Dee for teaching us how to make it um, and we're gonna make it for her next time because she makes the best. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys learned something today. And we're gonna use all of these vegetables that we um, prepped to dress up our bowls with. Um, and also you can add uh, dried chili peppers and fish sauce and sugar to your own taste. Um, and I also like to add lime in there. It's really good. Y'all should try it. It's like a hot and sour. All right, let's eat. Bye. Bye.
so we all made our bowl based on how we like um, our flavor to be. Katie's is probably super sour, I can imagine, because she adds a whole line in there. Mm -hmm. um, Dee's is probably really spicy, because <laughs> she adds a lot of pepper. Um, I'll tell yeah. you, this tastes phenomenal. Yes, it is. Sip. Sip, sip. And it, you can taste the fish. You can taste yeah. the coconut milk. Everything it's, just... It's a perfect it balance. Hits, yeah, like all of your all of your taste buds are like fireworks right now because yeah. it it's sweet, that it's good. sour, it's salty. It's so delicious. Uh. Good guys? Yeah. Yo, I got this. Sip, sip. <laughs> Savannah. Sip. Bye.